Hey everyone, and welcome to my Sunday afternoon video blog. This is actually the first video blog of the day, but at any rate, I'm going to be talking about vitamin E. So sit tight, we're going to have an interesting conversation about that, but I hope things are going well for you today. Uh, I just had lunch. I had some millet bread. I'm not talking about the kind uh, like you'd make for a sandwich, but it's like cornbread, but made with millet. You grind up your millet, or you can buy millet flour if you want. I like, I think grinding it up is just as, just as good. And it tastes just like cornbread, but only better. And the great part is, is that you know it's uh, non-GMO. I know you can get GMO-free corn, but hey, something you ought to try. Go by the same recipe. Uh, and I know we have an international audience, so a lot of you haven't tried cornbread before, but uh, if you live in the southern part of the United States, then it's something that uh, that I'm sure you uh, you are very familiar with. Uh, so, having said that, uh, let's move on and talk about E. Now, I'm not here to endorse any particular brand. Uh, this happens to be a uh, unique E, but but this this E is is amazing stuff. My aunt, uh, who she's actually here uh, visiting with us today. She's been doing this for like 25 plus years. And after she had a, a, a scare with her heart, uh, her cardiologist actually, this is surprising because usually the, the, you know, the, uh, the cardiologists are not always going to be erring on the side of, of natural supplements, usually uh, throwing prescriptions at you. And, and prescriptions have their place, don't get me wrong, but, but she's been doing this faithfully, faithfully for, uh, for that long, 25 plus years. Uh, most people start out with like 400 IU. She may be built up to like 800. I'm not sure, but she does a lot. But of course, when it comes to those kinds of things, you know, uh, do your own research, do your own due diligence, uh, and consult with a medical professional when making any changes to your, uh, health regimen. But having said that, I personally feel that E is, is a great thing. I, I take a multivitamin every day, uh, but I'm going to, and it has some E in it, but I'm going to start getting into this and uh, see what it can do for me. This uh, You want the kind that's got D-alpha. They call it D-alpha because uh, not all E's are the same. It, it, a lot of it depends on where you go to get it. Uh, and so you want to get a good quality brand that we can get the most benefit for it. So that's the health talk for this afternoon. Hope